when Warner Brothers Discovery CEO David Zaslav said that he wanted to make sure they tapped back into the Harry Potter IP, he wasn't joking. And the news that came out yesterday has some people excited, some people incredibly worried, and a small group of trans activist freaks furious. Because not only are we getting more Harry Potter, but J.K. Rowling is going to be very heavily involved in the entire production. Harry Potter set for seven season TV reboot at HBO Max. Creator J.K. Rowling will reportedly be involved with the show. So when you heard David Zaslav say, you know, a few months ago, hey, we have all these IPs. We've got Harry Potter that we haven't done anything with in a while. We want to get back to that. People are really asking the question, what is that? Is that something with the original cast that takes place, say, after the books? Could you do something like that? Or do they want to reboot the entire thing? Well, it looks like we have our answer. They want to reboot the entire thing. Seven seasons on HBO Max with each season going over an entire book. Now, on one hand, if it was done the right way, I do think that'd be an incredible way to experience these books. It's a criticism I've always had of the films. You just can't encompass like Goblet of Fire or the Phoenix all in one book. It's all in one movie. It's just not possible. But there's a ton of reasons to be very, very worried about this, especially if you are attached to those movies and these characters and these cast members. However, this is the news that we got yesterday. A trip back to Hogwarts may be on the horizon as Warner Brothers is nearing a deal to set up Harry Potter television series at HBO Max. While the deal has not been finalized, J.K. Rowling is said to be spearheading development and is close to boarding the series as a producer along with Warner Television. And like they want her heavily involved in this. They've been negotiating with her. They want J.K. Rowling there. And that is a big reason why this news has been trending because so many of these woke Twitter losers, the same ones who failed to boycott Hogwarts Legacy, that ended up being a massive success. These people are furious that J.K. Rowling is getting yet another opportunity to do something with Harry Potter. A slap in the face. Harry Potter fans react strongly to Rowling's involvement in a new Harry Harry Potter remake. Now, whether you love her or you hate her, J.K. Rowling is the creator of Harry Potter. She is the one that created this world, these characters, everything. She should absolutely be involved with anything they do with it. But just look at the reaction that some of these freaks have had. This is Master of the TDS captured some of these people. Just look at how they're melting down. Harry Potter was the 9-11 of literature and we need to stop J.K. Rowling and her devious activities that caused this. I get HBO starving for content. They can milk for years. But Harry Potter, really? When J.K. Rowling is as radioactive as she's ever been? Okay, the idea of the series is a little clever, but I cannot endorse any product with the intention of shoveling money into the pockets of J.K. Rowling. They ca uh, the cast all supports trans rights, and J.K. Rowling loses it. Can we please stop giving J.K. Rowling more attention and give this idea to a book series author that isn't openly transphobic? Let this die in peace. No one wants this anymore. They cannot stand it. How fucked up is it for Warner Brothers to have these very LGBTQ plus shows then still want to fucking work with J.K. Rowling? J.K. Rowling is literally the only time I'd be 100% okay with the creator losing the rights to their creation. It would benefit the franchise and all of mankind if someone else took the helm. This is her franchise, right? This is her creation, the world she created. And like, to be fair, I do think there's actually legitimate criticism about what they're planning to do. Although I can see this perfect scenario where it, it, we would get, uh, imagine an entire season of Goblet of Fire, an entire season of or Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince. I would love that if it was done the right way. But it is pretty close coming off of Deathly Hollows Part 2 that was released like a decade ago. It's been 20 years since this franchise started on film and a lot of people have love for these films. A lot of people think of the books when they read the books now and they see this cast of characters. A lot of people couldn't imagine recasting Haggard, recasting Snape because they see those characters inside the movie as those characters, plain and simple. But this is a massive franchise and there's a lot of money on the table and it looks like Warner Brothers wants to do something with it moving forward. They are doing this reboot with new actors, everything like that, and J.K. Rowling is going to be involved and these people cannot stand it. They try to make a lot of noise. They might get a lot of Twitter likes and retweets and things like that. But it doesn't matter. We saw with Hogwarts Legacy, you can bitch and moan and complain as much as you want and people are still going to buy it because there is a demand for it there. We'll see if this is good. It could be a disaster. It could be great. Who knows? 
But one thing's for sure, the woke mob, the woke activists, they are not happy and you can't help but laugh. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.